Okay, let's talk about putting all the pieces together to use the Raspberry Pi. Um, let's start with the case. So the Pi comes in this nice plastic case. I'm a big fan. Um, there's a top part, bong, and you'll see that there is uh, there are some protrusions from the surface. This is where the fan that comes with the kit sits if you want to install a fan. Um, it's pretty unlikely that you'll need the fan, but if you're a, a super user uh, and you need the CPU running at its max, then maybe you will need the fan. Okay, so the next layer is this guy. Oop, there you go. And the final layer is kind of a, a little base for the Raspberry Pi. And I would say this is the most important layer. Um, number one, you might notice that there are some, uh, some metal bits hanging out all over the bottom of this circuit board, little solder joints. Uh, let's say you're working on an electronics project and you got resistors and LEDs strewn about the surface of your working area. If you've got your Raspberry Pi like this and you just kind of nudge it over a little bit, uh, there is a pretty real potential to short circuit any two points on the board and potentially damage it or destroy it. Um, so I would just always recommend, you know, keep this bottom layer on. And there we go, it's in there now. The other thing is I love these little rubber feet. The, the pie tends to not slide around too much when uh, it's got that, that base on, um, yeah. The, the electronics kit comes with a massive ribbon cable connector that connects to the, the GPIO pins here on the Pi itself. And that cable can be connected when it's like this, or even when this part of the case is on, uh, it can still fit in there, um, but you, you won't be able to have the top on while you have that massive cable connected, big surprise. Okay, so that's the Pi and the case. Um, let's start setting things up. We're gonna start with the computer monitor and the monitor comes with a kind of a foldable uh, monitor stand. I'm gonna set the angle pretty low so that the camera up here can see what's going on. Uh, this is our computer monitor. It's 13 inches. It has a, uh, a threaded mount. So if you wanted to mount it to a tripod or, or anything like that, it can fit there. Um, it has some buttons on the top that control the input and the volume and the menus. And then on the side, we have an output for headphones, uh, two HDMI inputs, a USB-C um, five volt output, which is the, the port that powers the Raspberry Pi. So we'll plug a cable into here and then into the Pi in order to power it. Uh, and then finally, we have a 12 volt input which is the power supply for the computer monitor. So let's connect some cables. Um, first off, we're going to need the power for the monitor. I won't plug it into the wall just yet, but we'll plug it into the monitor right now. Uh, you'll find these little Velcro ties all over the kit. Um, and you might find them annoying, but I really like them. I really like having cables organized and neat and tidy. And if you set up kind of a more permanent setup for your Raspberry Pi, you can really uh, have stuff be really tidy. Okay, so this is the USB-C cable that I mentioned. Uh, we're just gonna plug one end into the monitor on the side. And then lastly, we're going to plug in the HDMI cable. So in, instead of having these things kind of laying around like this, catching the other Velcro connectors, you can kind of roll, roll them up like this. So you got like a little, little blob there at the end. So I'm gonna recommend using the HDMI input that's closest to the power supply cables. That's HDMI one. All right, let's connect some of these cables to the Pi. Uh, here on the Raspberry Pi, we've got four connectors and we've got USB-C for power in, uh, HDMI zero and HDMI one for your HDMI outs coming from the Pi. 
Then there's this little thing that says AV. I think this is a, a 3.5 millimeter jack that breaks out to kind of a an RCA yellow cable. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's maybe, who knows? Uh, I forgot to mention earlier that this is the SD card slot for the Raspberry Pi. So your SD card is kind of like your hard drive for this thing. If there's no SD card in here, it's, there's nothing. So you gotta have an SD card in there. And it's a good idea if you got an operating system on that SD card. I'll show you how to flash an operating system uh, in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Okay, let's, let's plug some stuff in. Uh, this is our power cable coming from the monitor. Boop. And this is our HDMI cable also coming from the monitor. Well, if you want to be technical, it's going to the monitor. We got the output coming from here, going to the input. And this should be enough to, uh, to have something happen. So this is the other end of the power cable connected to the monitor, and I'm just gonna plug that in right over here. Should get a nice rainbow display here real quick. Oh, what's gonna happen? There it was. Uh, the operating system is booting right now. Uh, we use Raspberry Pi OS, and then I've added some custom software to the, to the default o OS so that um, you all can have fun stuff to play with when you get it in the mail. Okay, so this is the, the desktop environment. You know, it's got the, got the Studio Lab logo, super cool. Um, and we're pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna show you one thing that I think is kind of important for um, just having things be neat and tidy. Um, so I'm gonna uncoil this just a little bit. You know, let this out and then take some slack for the mouse, uh, and then I'm gonna coil the rest up. And this should keep things pretty tidy, otherwise we're just gonna have cables everywhere. I'll do the same with the keyboard. Open it up all the way. Oh, maybe too far. Whoever gave me this kit didn't attach their zip or their, their Velcro tie properly, so excuse me for one moment. Okay, there we go. Thank you for your patience. I'm just gonna fold this cable up a little bit. So we have some slack leading from the keyboard. Okay, let's plug these into the Pi now. to go. I'm just going to tuck these cables and to kind of hide them there. And so now we got a pretty solid setup. I mean, this, ugh, you know, kind of bad, but and effectively we've got a really good working space right here. You can see the mouse moving around the screen and we can type stuff like control alt T. Oh my gosh, that's our terminal. Yeah, we can type all kinds of stuff into here. Um, yeah, so that's how you set up the Pi. And, and that's it. Okay.